We haven't thought that one day Max Verstappen will be begging his team for the upgrades due to a threat from McLaren as he might be thinking that he is on the cusp of losing world championship that McLaren still has the edge and Lando is hungry for the win this is british gp last one from the triple header my views from the fp1 and fp2 session of british gp so let's start from the reigning world champions red bull this weekend red bull have come here with the upgrades floor body has been reprofiled above and behind the lower side impact structure tube to boost pressure to the floor edge and redesigned vertical inlet did it help red bull the answer is unknown at the moment as every team ran a different setup in fp1 and in fp2 session red bull mercedes and ferrari didn't run soft tires so it's hard to say who has the overall pace in fp2 max was running different setups compared to their rivals he did one lap on soft tires then came to the pits then went again on medium tires did one lap and came back to the pits again there could be two reasons either they have found the pace and want to save the kilometers on the engine or they are testing too many setups well i think probability of 0.1 is high again a tough session for sergio perez session 1 was carried out by junior academy f2 driver isaac hazar and in fp2 he came on the soft tires in later stages of the session when track was ramping up so it's not clear about the pace along with the fuel load compared to his teammate Silverstone is the track that suits their car the most. I think they're trying different things, different setups which could help them here and in future races too. I think quali and on race day they will be ahead of McLaren. Of course, McLaren will be pushing them. However, I think they might take the victory from them. Coming to McLaren, McLaren have also brought upgrades to British GP. They will not make Red Bull's life easier. A new lower downforce rear wing, a new beam wing and a new engine cover. So the number of upgrades Max wanted, McLaren are giving it to the drivers. With these upgrades, McLaren seems to be finding a bit of a performance, and all these upgrades have planned for the rear of the car. Both the drivers had a good session. Their quality and race runs looks good. In the end of FP1, Oscar Piastri reported hydraulics issue. However, team reported it fuel pump leakage. Oscar was up and running in FP2. McLaren will be again a close challenger to the Red Bulls this weekend. However, I think Red Bull has a slight edge over McLaren over high speed corners. Let's see who nails the qualifying at British GP. Coming to Ferrari, earlier upgrades were planned for Silverstone. However, team arrived here without any upgrade package. However, team from Maranello have come here prepared and as per Ferrari's team principal Fred Vasseur, he thinks that SF24 Evo has lot of potentials. and team is not able to find the sweet spot in terms of setup he thinks that rather than focusing on the upgrades team should be working on finding out the correct operating window to take out the maximum out of sf24 evo during fp1 and fp2 both charles and carlos have used different spec cars carlos was driving imola spec car and charles was driving spain spec car charles despite ending ahead of carlos in fp1 and fp2 sessions he was slow around 5 kmph in high speed corners of maggots beckets and chapel and was also lifting early as compared to sains he was experiencing lot of bouncing compared to carlos whose car was smooth however had less downforce now ferrari have third and last practice session to utilize it to its maximum to find the optimum setups which could be ideal for quali and especially for the race day I know they must be have they must have taken out crucial data from these two practice session and will be implementing all the findings they have found in the FP3 session. Let's see how Ferrari performs here at Silverstone. Let me know your views in the comment section below. Coming to Mercedes, Mercedes have also brought a track specific front wing to give them performance boost. Both Lewis and George were looking slow as compared to other practice sessions as generally they tend to be faster on Fridays. still too early to judge as all top 4 teams were running on completely different run plans only saturday will tell us who will be on the top i think they have slight edge over ferrari as they are not experiencing bouncing in their car let me know your views in the comment section below coming to the rest of the grid rb aston martin haas kick sober have also brought upgrades to boost the performance early spin of yuki sunoda ended his session for fp1 and in fp2 he did run as usual i think aston martin has found some space as both the drivers were putting strong laps in both the sessions only saturday will tell the competitiveness of that aston martin has has also brought the major upgrades this weekend their sideboard design almost looks like mclaren 
Are they going on footsteps of McLaren, still being Ferrari's customer team? Let me know your thought in the comment section below. Pace of that Haas looks great. Let's see how weekend unfolds for them. One more thing, as per Sam Collin from Formula 1, he says that McLaren has the pace over Red Bull and Ferrari over Mercedes. He must have taken this data from the GPS. If this is the scenario, then we can expect comeback of Ferrari, an exciting race on Sunday. Only Saturday qualifying will tell us the true picture. See you all in my next video. Until then, like, share, subscribe. Take care. Bye.